Hello, today I found this post and I wanted to try it out. Don't have anything planned, but I'm going to be testing out this guy setting me to Gen 2 installer. Gen 2 install. So he recommends using an Arch Live Linux, an Arch Linux Live ISO. So we're going to just go, because Gen 2 can be installed on any old ISO, but Arch ISOs are super small. I'm guessing that's why he recommended it. I could I could install Gen 2 on Mint. I actually have installed Gen 2 Linux on a Linux Mint ISO before. I've also installed it on an Arch Linux ISO, so it doesn't really matter. All right, looks like our Arch Linux ISO is downloaded. So let me open up Brit Manager. What we're gonna want to do is just. And well, not install Arch, but just get into Arch. We don't need much for this. Well, because we're using a Gen 2 script, I'm going to do half my RAM and half my CPU. I'm just going to do half everything. Uh, let's say 30 gigabytes should be perfect. Um, and that looks good. That should work just fine with our script. So it looks like this is pretty cool because it has uh, different file systems like um, ZFS, which I think is for servers. I I, I don't know. I only ever use LVM, uh, X4, yeah, X, XT4, and I've never even used ButterFS. So I don't. I'm only. I don't use super complicated file systems. But yeah, we're just gonna boot into our ArchISO. What we should be able to do is just clone the repo. Wait, can we paste into here? We cannot. I'm just gonna git clone. We even have git. Oops. Oh. Okay, there we go. Pseudo pacman s git. No, pseudo pacman s y. And we're just gonna install git so we can clone the repo. Alright, just gotta do git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash odd llama slash gen2 dash install. Just gonna go cd gen gen2 install. And then we should just be able to um I don't think we need to ch mod it. I think they already did that. Do you want to install all missing programs automatically? Yes. Alrighty, so. Let's see. Partitioning scheme. Classic single dice. That looks good. Swap, swap them out. Well, whatever. I, I typically wouldn't use swap in the VM, but it works. Root file system. Extend four. That works. Encryption. I don't need to encrypt. I'm only in a VM. Device. I think it's dev slash VDA. Yeah, that's what it is. Hostname Gentoo. Um, time zone. I'll select. Yeah, we're going to be using the U.S. Eastern Time Zone, um, the U.S. Key Map. I'm not going to bother with the different in the RAM FS Key Map. Locales. We're going to use. Oh, it already comes with the locales I need. But if you want to change it, you could. I'm not going to use System D. I'm going to use OpenRC. I also like Run It. I don't have. I don't think it, Run It works. I think run it. There's a run it version of Gen 2. If I, I'm not sure. I don't use Gen 2 that much, but oh, no, see works. Ported tree. That's, all that stuff is good. And brother, I would change the mirror. So let me Gen 2 US mirror on the Gen 2 wiki. There's a. I 
good you at this is the mirror I usually use. Oh here I can't copy it. So it's HTTPS colon slash s gen two dot O S U O S O dot org. It did not apply anything. Maybe it just doesn't go over here. Whatever. Well, this, I'm pretty sure it went over. Whatever. Um, <coughs> Gen 2 Arch Architecture. AMB64, that works. Bleeding Edge. Um, I don't need Bleeding Edge stuff. I'm on a VM. Run Mirror Select. Yep. Alright. Additional packages. Just for coolness, I'm gonna install screen fetch. That's basically all I need. I'm gonna save this as gen2.config. I'm gonna exit. Oh, do I have to run a dot slash install? Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Alright. And it looks like our installation is going to start. So I'm going to pause this recording and come back when it is finished. Or if something happens. Alrighty, my Gen 2 installation has completed successfully. I don't think I created a user. It asked me for a root password. So I did that, so I'm, I should have to do the uh, user add command, but... We're gonna rebuild our system. And it should have a lot of errors apparently. That might have just been something weird, I don't know. Alright, now if this works correctly, we should see. Yep, open RC. So we didn't boot into the arch. Alright, so that's good. Alright, so. If all goes well, I don't think I created, you know, I, I, I didn't create a um, user. I think I just have root. It makes you create a ridiculously long password, but whatever. Now if we see, we are in fact installed with Gen2 Linux. And we can do sudo emerge sync to sync. Oh, we don't have enough sudo installed. Emerge. So we're gonna install sudo. So it's kind of bare bones. The installer just installs. Oh wait, I'm stupid. It's you don't do install. You just do emerge and then sudo. There we go. All right. Okay. We have sudo installed now. So I'm gonna run through creating a user and I'll come back with you once that's done. All right, we have ourselves with a user account. So now we can basically just do whatever we want. You can install a desktop environment seems it's not trying to GPU, probably just because I'm in a virtual machine. If, yeah, basically, it's a fully functioning gen to install without the cost of a uh, social life. Yeah. Like, you can have a life and install gen to. Well, I would recommend installing a plain gen to first before using a script. Like, if you're just using a script, like, maybe you have an R machine, so I want to quickly install it to you. But I recommend going through the whole Gen 2 install process, as it's very informative, and it can teach you a lot about Linux in general. So, thank you for watching this video, and goodbye.